This is the Airbus A321neo, a modern iteration of the venerable A321 series, which itself is an extended version of the original A320. Introduced to the aviation market to offer higher efficiency, longer range, and increased passenger comfort, the A321neo has become a staple in the fleets of many airlines globally. Formally announced in December 2010, the project was a part of Airbus's wider NEO initiative, which also included the A320neo and A319neo. The key development was the choice of new engines, which, combined with aerodynamic improvements and the option of adding fuel-saving winglets known as sharklets, promised significant reductions in fuel consumption, noise levels, and CO2 emissions. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A321neo. Stepping inside, the plane features a cabin width of 12 feet 1 inch or 3.7 meters and a cabin height of 7 feet 5 inches or 2.25 meters. While the width is relatively standard for narrow-body aircraft, the height offers a decent sense of spaciousness. The layout typically allows for six abreast seating in economy class, with configurations of 3-3 separated by a single aisle. In terms of passenger capacity, the aircraft can accommodate between 180 to 240 passengers, depending on the specific configuration chosen by the airline, which allows airlines to tailor the cabin layout to meet their operational needs, whether focusing on high-density, low-cost services, or more luxurious configurations with fewer seats and more amenities. Moving on to seating, the pitch varies between airlines but typically ranges from 28 to 32 inches or 70 to 80 centimeters in economy class. Seat width is usually about 18 inches or 45 centimeters across most configurations. Premium and business class seats, of course, offer more generous dimensions. The cushioning and ergonomic design have improved over earlier models, but the actual comfort level will depend largely on the airline's chosen seats. One of the notable improvements is the overhead bin space. The larger airspace bins can accommodate more and larger carry-on items than its predecessor. Specifically, each bin can typically fit up to eight standard size carry-on bags. In terms of in-flight entertainment and connectivity, modern A321neos come equipped with state-of-the-art systems offering HD screens, USB charging ports, and Wi-Fi capabilities. The touchscreen interface usually offers a broad selection of movies, games, and real-time flight information. Again, the specific offerings can vary by airline. The plane often features LED mood lighting, which can be programmed to alter the cabin's ambience according to the time of day, or even to match an airline's brand colors, which not only elevates the aesthetic, but can also aid in reducing jet lag by simulating natural circadian rhythms. Noise and vibration levels have been significantly improved, thanks in part to the new generation engines. These engines are not only more fuel efficient, but also contribute to a quieter cabin, which usually hovers around 60 to 65 decibels, comparable to a conversation in a restaurant. Regarding pressurization and air circulation, the A321neo offers a more advanced system compared to older models, maintaining a cabin altitude of approximately 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters during flight which results in higher humidity levels and better air quality, making for a more comfortable journey, especially during long-haul flights. Last but not least, the lavatories are generally compact, but designed with efficiency in mind. They are typically equipped with touchless faucets and flush systems, and some airlines opt for additional amenities like baby changing tables. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The A321neo is designed for a two-pilot operation, providing a seamless blend of technology and ergonomics. The flight deck is structured to maximize both comfort and operational efficiency. Each pilot has a primary flight display, a navigation display, and shared access to the engine warning display and system display. The side stick controllers are installed to the left and right of the pilots, allowing for fly-by-wire operation that synchronizes both side sticks for unified control inputs. The A321neo features the Airbus Integrated Modular Avionics Suite, a part of the larger Airbus cockpit electronic monitoring system, and it centralizes the airplane's avionics into fewer, more powerful modules. 
The IMA streamlines the amount of hardware required and allows for easier software updates, which results in reduced weight, simplified maintenance, and increased reliability. The FMS is known for its user-friendly interface and a wide range of functionalities, from predictive flight planning to real-time adjustments. The multifunction control and display units are conveniently located in the cockpit's center pedestal for easy access. The plane features four 6 by 8 inch LCD screens, which provide a clear, intuitive interface for interacting with the aircraft's systems. These displays can be customized to show a variety of essential flight information, including navigation maps, engine performance data, and other essential metrics. The A321neo is equipped with advanced communication systems that facilitate ATC interaction, real-time weather updates, and in-flight reporting. The aircraft also features the latest VHF and HF radios, and many configurations include SATCOM systems for seamless global communication. Equipped with state-of-the-art GPS and IRS, the A321neo ensures pinpoint navigation accuracy. It also features enhanced ground proximity warning systems and traffic collision avoidance systems to enhance safety further. The aircraft supports required navigation performance and area navigation capabilities, enabling it to operate efficiently in congested or complex airspace. The autopilot system is incredibly robust, offering features like altitude constraint management, vertical navigation, and lateral navigation. The auto throttle system works in tandem with the autopilot, providing precise power settings for various flight regimes. The automation systems are designed to reduce pilot workload, but they also allow for manual override to ensure the pilots remain in ultimate control. Advanced features such as an electronic flight bag for charts and performance calculations are often found in the cockpit. Moreover, enhanced vision systems and heads-up displays are increasingly common options that airlines can choose to include for better situational awareness and safety. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The key to the A321neo's remarkable performance lies in its power plants. The Pratt & Whitney PW1000G series or the CFM International Leap 1A engines. The PW1000G is a high-bypass geared turbofan engine designed to reduce fuel consumption by as much as 16% compared to previous generations. The Leap 1A, on the other hand, utilizes a dual annular combustor and carbon fiber composite blades to achieve similar efficiency gains. Both engine options provide excellent thrust-to-weight ratios and are renowned for their quiet operation, reliability, and reduced emissions. The aircraft requires 6,200 feet or 1,900 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 206,000 pounds or 93,500 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 56,200 pounds or 25,500 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 3,000 feet or 910 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 39,800 feet or 12,130 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0 0.82 or 473 knots, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0 0.78 or 450 knots, a maximum range of 3,500 nautical miles, which is 4,030 miles or 6,480 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 4,700 feet or 1,430 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A321neo is $120 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.